Hi everyone, today we will discuss how we can manipulate data in spreadsheet. There are two different ways to manipulate the data or calculate data or perform different kind of calculations on the data that is available in a spreadsheet using formula and function. So without wasting any time, we are going to launch Microsoft Excel. We are starting here from using the start menu. Microsoft Excel is loaded successfully. By clicking on the blank sheet, uh, there is a view of a separate sheet. In the previous se session, we have clearly discussed in detail what are the major components, what are the tools, and what are the features of Microsoft Excel. In today's session, we will focus on the formula and function. So let's begin. What is meant by formula? First of all, I would like to explain you what is meant by formula. Formula is a combination of operator and operands. In our childhood classes, we have seen there is a such kind of formulas A plus B, A minus B, A multiplied by the B. This is called formula where B and A are the operands and this is the operator. This is called simple formula, composition of formula or this is also called expression in programming languages or computer. And what is meant by the function? The other thing, other method to manipulate the data in Excel sheets is called function. What is meant by function? Function is a named device or named identifier that takes some kind of input as parameter. Here is the input of the function. This is the identifier or function name. These parentheses specify what is this one this is called function parenthesis we have also already knowledge of log function we provide some values here we have also learned about the sine function we have also knowledge about the cos function these are the functions now we would like to explore in detail using the separate sheet in separate sheet there is a tab of formula available in a menu we can see here this is the formula menu available in a separate sheet or microsoft excel we can choose here a number of formula categories these are the drop downs available in microsoft excel each drop down contains a number of formulas that can be used to manipulate the data in a separate sheet okay we will explore it in later sessions uh, today we are just going to explore what is the major difference between formula and function. In previous section we have also learned about how active and passive cells work and how cell address is composed. Basically this is the column identifier and this is the row identifier. The mixture of column and row identifier or the intersection of this column and row identifier we can observe here. This is the basically uh, intersection of C and 4 so that its address will be equivalent to C4. Okay, this is the C4. If we talk about this one, this is the A1. If we write here, this is the A1. A1 is highlighted here. We can observe that this is highlighted here. Okay, uh, now I would like to uh, create a formula. So let's assume that we have a value in A10 and in b 30 we want to get the sum of a1 and b1 in c we just click on c1 cell that will be active cell and other all other cells are the passive cell you can see the previous session of our uh, microsoft excel tutorial each and every today this is the formula today this is the function this can be written directly into the cell or specifically we appreciate or used recommended it is recommended to use the formula bar for writing the functions or formulas in microsoft excel i was talking about each and every formula or function always start with the equal sign this is the major difference between text and formula and function in a microsoft excel it does not apply the 
equal sign starting from the content of a cell and this will be treated as a text as I have written here a1 plus b1 and when I just press the enter this is the text not the formula or function to make a formula or provide a formula or function we have to write equal sign start statement then we provide the address of first cell we can uh, use a number of cells uh, uh, in the correspondence we can also provide the range using the colon operator we will also discuss this later on in today's session this is the first address of the first cell i have provided the operator as earlier we have discussed this is called first operand this is the operator and we will have to provide the second operand as discussed this is the b1 we can observe here these two cells are highlighted means these are using in the formula we just have to press the enter we can see here uh, first one value is the 10 second one is the 30 and its resultant is automatically created into the cell c1 what is the impact what is the usefulness of this microsoft excel whenever we will change it whenever we will change its value we can observe that the value of c is automatically changing this is the basically impact or formula evaluation of uh, values in microsoft excel okay let's observe the other thing that is called function this is the formula we can also uh, use number of columns i am just removing this one for the time being i am using other value in c1 and uh, one value in the d1 i would like to use we can use any of the cell for the calculation of these four entities or four cell values or any data incorporating in the cell spreadsheet we just have to select the cell as already discussed start with the equal sign we are uh, using the address of the first cell that will be composed with the help of column letter and row number this is also discussed in the previous session so i would strongly recommend you to uh, view or uh, see the previous session of microsoft excel introduction then i would provide the second cell address that is the b2 oh sorry sorry for that that is the b1 and c1 we can see here the cells are selected automatically this is the d1 uh, what is this one i would like to uh, share with you the detail of this one these are the basically this is the basically expression means this is called formula in microsoft excel in mathematics is it is also called expression it is a combination of operators and operands okay we can see this one as this is the a1 plus b1 plus c1 and plus d1 here a1 b1 c1 and d1 are that data or operand on the other hand plus is used multiple time this is called operator we have to just press the enter key the evaluated or calculated submission is provided here the other method that can be used for the same purpose is called function function is much more flexible and easy to use there are we can observe there are a lot of functions that cannot be expressed in the formula with the help of formulas even there are some kind of formulas basically implemented behind the function function uh, is combination of predefined operations or set of operations uh, that are uh, bundled under certain name that is called function okay the same thing can be done with the help of function for this purpose we have to write the function name for the submission there is a sum sum if and other functions will also discuss in the later sessions we have to provide the start number for the function that is a1 b1 c1 and uh, here is the d1 we are providing here the 
all numbers or references of the cells is to the function whenever we will press the enter this will automatically get the total or summation of these cell addresses uh, there is something I would like to share with you that we can observe these all cells whose summation is required are continuous it may be in the continuous form of row or in the continuous form of column or third one is that in the continuous form of a tabular form uh, now if we want to sum up all these tabular form cells then it will a very hectic work to provide the references or addresses of each and every cell to the sum function for this purpose Microsoft Excel provide a easiest way that is called range operator I am talking about range operator what is the range operator with the help of range operator this one is the range operator that is uh, specified with the help of column with this range operator we can provide a range of continuous cells one thing is to focus here is the continuous cell if there is a distinct cell we have to provide it separated by the commas we can also provide a tabular form cells this will select the entire cells that are occurring in this range okay now I am only going to the provide the cells that have containing the values we have to see here this is your cell references and this is the range operator whenever we will press the enter this will automatically to, uh, get the total of the entire cells that are appearing here so that if there are distinct cells we have to also calculate uh, the submission of other distinct cell that is not continuous to these series then what we will have to do then Microsoft Excel provide us feature to uh, provide other optional parameter we can see here these are the other optional parameters that are enclosed in a square bracket we can also provide other optional parameters to the sum function uh, for example if you want to get the total of h1 accumulated to the series of a1 to d1 then we can write here in f6 a1 to d1 comma the second parameter will be provided if we can have uh, here provide a two up to 256 parameters we write here h1 observe that h1 is also selected and just press the enter this is going to a 145 one for uh, 33 is here and plus 12 is equal to 145 you can check it using the calculator but this is not required to check the uh, computation of Microsoft Excel with the help of calculator okay uh, now what we will have to do if we want to uh, provide other range such as from f1 uh, sorry f3 to i3 in the same function in the same fun some function now again we will separate it by the comma we write here f3 to k3 this is also now selecting the range so that I think it is clear now we can also use the formula as well as we can also use the function for the calculation purpose or manipulation of the data in a separate sheet the other method to uh, use the formula or function is here using the formula bar so let's suppose that I would like to uh, get the total in C10 or any other cell you can choose here from the M I would like to choose here C10 here I will click on the formula toolbar available in the menu ribbon we, uh, here we can observe that multiple formulas are listed here or grouped here under the particular drop downs there is a submission that is the most frequently used formulas there is also 
recently used formulas that is used by me that are the financial formulas that are the logical formulas and these are the textual formulas to manipulate the text that is available in the spreadsheet okay we were we was talking about how to get these functionality or direct input to the formula or function values using the menu bar so let's begin i just click on the cell in which we want to manipulate the formula this will be called active cell click on the sum average max min or count later on i will also discuss min or max function in this today session i will click on the sum this is selecting a range uh, depending on uh, the microsoft excel manipulation i would like to change the range okay i can also select the distinct ranges using control button now i am pressing the control button and selecting distinct ranges okay just press the hold the control button this is now you can observe that manipulating these ranges in the implementing or embedding these ranges into the sum function as earlier we have discussed comma h6 you have to observe here comma h6 okay whenever i press the enter these all ranges will be sum up in the c10 cell as other values are empty that are selected here h3 a4 b8 uh, j3 to k8 so that the calculation or summation is equal in both cases okay we can also uh, calculate the sum min max using the formula bar we will also discuss how logical operators and if or not operator or financially operator financial operators will work sorry for functions will work in our next lectures so keep in touch please subscribe our channel for the latest update press the bell icon okay i will uh, use the men or max function at the end of this session i say here this is the max i would like to click on the formula and click on the max this is automatically typed here we can see here max now it is demanding the parameters at least one parameter is mandatory the parameters uh, that are appeared in the angle uh, sorry square brackets are called optional parameters you have also understanding about the optional and mandatory parameters the parameters that are not written in the square brackets are called mandatory parameters means we have to provide these parameters uh, at least one okay so let's begin by selecting the range and pressing the enter it automatically uh, calculating the maximum number out of these numbers okay now i am going to summarize our today session in today session we have discussed what is meant by formula what is the basic uh, definition of formula how we uh, see the formula in other languages or mathematics this is the basically expression what is meant by function how functions are composed what is the formula and function bar in provided in the microsoft excel what are the use of function what is the ease of function what are the uh, major uh, plus points of the function over the formula how different ways to use the function in microsoft excel as we have seen here uh, we can see the uh, select the distinct or continuous ranges to use the formulas formulas are the quick way to perform any kind of manipulations or calculations uh, so i would like to uh, ask you thankful for the complete session that you have uh, under, uh, attend and appreciate for subscription of that channel thank you